I worked al alongside with Ed uh, right from, from the beginning and uh, he was my mentor. He uh, taught me everything that uh, I know about the basics of Swiss cheese and as well as other types of cheese. He was not a really easy man to work for. He was a, a very honest person. He spoke his mind. He was far ahead of everybody. Anything new come in, he would look at it, examine it. Ed Gosner was a wonderful person. Tough, uh, tough guy to work for because he was pretty demanding. But uh, he was honest and straightforward. He knew exactly where you stood with him. And I think that's what uh, the customers liked about him is because when he gave his word, that was it. He was a, a true Swiss. If you uh, were wasting anything, he was uh, sure to let you know about it in no uncertain terms. He was tremendously concerned about the product quality, always wanted to have the company well represented to the customer, and felt very strongly about uh, the fact that the customer and the supplier were partners and needed to work together to satisfy the, the eventual customer. We sit down on the stairway in the front down here, just visited a little bit. I told him, I says, I think I can put a load of milk together for you out of the north end of the Cache Valley. He says, if you can, he says, we treat you right. And it's been that way ever since. A handshake and a word is all the contract we've ever, ever had. I think Dolores picked up where Ed left off. And I think that because of her and her abilities, uh, and the things that she learned from her own father, and then you, you put that with her own special talents, I think that is the reason that the company is where it is today. As time went on and, and Dolores took the reins, why, you knew it was her dad a talking, but her, mother, her mother's heart. I'm very proud of my mother. She's made this company bigger and better for, for all of us, for, for the family, for the employees. Um, the producers are very, very important to her. Parties and, and summer parties and food and, and having fun is important to her to make them feel a part of our family. And I remember um, sitting in my office and here's Dolores vacuuming the floor. And I thought, geez, what's the present CEO of Gosner's doing janitorial work for? And, but she's, that's the type of manager she is. She's hands-on. Since Doris took over, management sales have gone up. The company has expanded both in a financial and a physical uh, way. So it's really been an excellent, excellent uh, thing for the company since she took over. She has a lot of respect for the farmers, a lot of respect for the employees, and they in turn turn around and give that right back to her. And I don't think that I've ever met an employee or a producer who has had a bad thing to say about my grandma and she's very respected in the community by people outside of the dairy industry as well. Sometimes I even tell her you gotta think of the business a little bit because she always her concern is what's best for the employee, the farmer. Uh, she's extremely caring about the employees and the producers you know um, I don't think there's a baby that's been born here to an employee that she hasn't held and given gifts to. They don't get the gift until the baby is been held by her and hugged and loved and and uh, that's very important to her to have that and make sure that they understand how, how proud we are of them that they're a part of us and we can be a part of their family. Mm -hmm.